Today we have the Anycubic Resin Skin Color. This is going to be one kilogram and it's used for uh, UV uh, resin printers. Anything in the 405 nanometer wavelength. I'm going to be using my Anycubic Photon. I'm going to give us a quick shake. Anytime you're working with resin, please wear your gloves. And let's go ahead and get this a pour into the bed here. And I've got a test file I've used on quite a few other things. And we're going to be using an 80 second first layers and 15 second thereafter. It's a little aggressive, but I found it's worked with just about everything so far. Let's go ahead and get this a go. And I guess I'll see you guys back in a few hours. Okay, it's been a few hours. Let's take a look and see what we have. Go ahead and unscrew this build plate here. Take a look. So this is the skin tone. First glance, I like the supports that came out as expected. Let's get this off the plate and take a closer look at what we have. So I'm just going to take a plastic scraping tool that comes off rather nicely. And let's get this support removed. And so far I'm really liking the initial looks. Alright. So the guy's still kind of wet. A little bit of resin left over. Let's go ahead and give him and his brother a wash. Get him uh, unhooked. It came out nicely just as well. Alright. I'm going to give these a rinse in 91% isopropyl alcohol. And just give those a few dunks. And this is just to rinse off any excess resin. So that way when I go to get the final cure, which I'm going to take advantage of the sun to do that, I don't have any extra pooling or lost detail because I left a little bit of the resin on there. All right. Let's go ahead and close that up and let's take a look at what we have here now that they're rinsed. So I can see quite a bit of detail in here, but to really catch it, I'm going to have to get this thing fully cured. So I'm going to throw these out in the sun. I'll be back in a few in a little bit. All right, now that we have it cured, just throw it out in the sun for a little while, you can actually see some absolutely stunning detail on the scales. Let me zoom into this. You can really see that fine detail in the scaling there. And if we really look into the face. So I am really pleased with this resin. Yep, that is the finished product, guys.